Hi, I'm Jody from writerslife.org and today we'll be talking about how to stay on track during the warmer months. With the weather getting warmer and warmer, it can be easy to get off track as your focus tends to be geared towards getting outside. While it can be difficult to focus, it doesn't need to continue that way. It's possible to be focused on your work while also enjoying the sunshine. Instead of planning activities outdoors during the working hours, why don't you work outside? This will allow you to enjoy the sun while also allowing you to get your work done too. Try getting up earlier in the day. When you get up earlier, you can end your day earlier as well. Instead of working the typical 9 to 5, work 8 to 4 or 7 to 3, whatever you feel comfortable with. With spending time outside, you don't want to waste working hours where you could be productive. The goal is to be productive while also enjoying the warmer weather. Set small goals for yourself each day. Set five to 10 big goals during the week. When you accomplish these goals, you get the rest of the week off. If you set a goal to write 10,000 words in your book and you get it done by Thursday morning, then you can stop working again until Monday. You don't want to deprive yourself of the summer sun. The last step towards staying on track during the warmer months is to plan activities for yourself each weekend. It's easy to want to stop working and go outside, yet this isn't possible if you want to be productive. These are activities that will allow you to push yourself through the week and allow you to take the weekend in stride. No one said it would be easy getting work done during the summer months, but it's entirely possible if you follow these steps. Don't forget, if you're having a hard time writing or finishing your book, check out our free writer's toolkit. It can help you overcome procrastination, get organized, stay focused, and get your book published. Just head to writerslife.org toolkit to get your free copy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, turn on our notifications, and subscribe down below, and be sure to visit writerslife.org for more writing tips and tricks, and I'll see you next time.